Well folks, standing outside right of the Allen Water, no far from Bridge Allen. No told you a wee story for a while. I was in the boot of my car a couple of minutes ago and I found this. A flag. The great player, Paul Gascoigne, Rangers in England. The reason I had that in the back of my car, I found it a couple of years ago. I was going to tell a story to show what sort of guy Gascoigne could be. Everybody knows he had these problems, still got them. But it was great to see him in the paper the other day, actually looking pretty good, pretty fit and healthy. Off the drink a wee bit. Anyway, here's a story about Gaza. An English legend, a Rangers legend, and my mate Panda, a Scottish legend, an Armadale legend. Anybody who knows Panda, Jim Sanderson for Armadale, knows how much a Rangers supporter is. Years ago, him and big Bobby Spiller used to go through to watch Rangers training long before Murray Park. This is back when Gascoigne was playing Gaza, Durant, McCoist, Guff, all these sort of guys. Uh, the Panda got to know them all, they got to know Panda. Gascoigne, you know what they're like. Came for a laugh. One day Gascoigne was there with Panda. He shouted Panda over. He said, Jim, it's Marco Negri's birthday today. So could you go over and wish him a happy birthday? Try to understand anybody who doesn't know Panda knows he's the most excitable guy in the world. And uh, <laughs> I'm being at Ibrox or anywhere near Rangers training ground. He's like a bear in a sweet shop. He speaks a million to the dozen. So he goes over to Marco Negri. Neg <laughs> Negri just standing there bothering Ned there. Kills a cucumber. Panda right in his face. <laughs> I can't even speak as fast as Panda. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Many happy turns, many happy turns, many happy turns, many happy turns. But if you can imagine that ten times faster. <laughs> imagine that ten times faster, right? He's right in Negri's face. Negri's just looking up. The panda's... <laughs> I swear, if you know Panda, you know what I'm talking about. He must have said happy birthday about a thousand times in a minute. <laughs> Negri's just looking up. He's just... The big shrug, the big Italian shrug, he turned around to Gash going, he's, they're ripping. <laughs> they're ripping out of him. They're, they're laughing their heads off. You, your usual suspects, Gaza, McCoy, Gerard. <laughs> they're wetting themselves. Turns out it wasn't Negri's birthday at all. <laughs> so shoot, Gaza shoots Panda back up. Oh, Jim, <laughs> Jim, come here. And Panda's right in her, right in her face. You bastard, you bastard, you bastard, you bastard. <laughs> Same thing though, about ten times faster. You bastard, you bastard. <laughs> so Roy Stitches, he's all right. <laughs> big, 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 big Bobby Spilts waiting in the car park to take, to take them back home, obviously. Next thing, the bus, the Rangers bus drives by. Big Bobby's car. Who's in the bus? Panda. <laughs> Panda's in the bus, he's waving to Bobby. He's been asked back. <laughs> he's been asked back to Ibrox by Gascoigne. That's a true story by the way. Big Bobby, Big Bobby's sitting in the car around right Panda. Panda drives past in the bus, waving. Panda tells it he was sitting next to Richard Goff. And Richard Goff was trying his best to tell Marco Negri they had a night out that night and they had to wear a shirt and tie. The man couldn't speak one word English. So he couldn't understand Richard Goff's word. <laughs> He had absolutely no chance. <laughs> he tried to figure out what Panda was saying to him. Anyway, they're on the bus, gets off at Ibrox. Gascoigne takes Panda by the hand, basically, up the stairs and up the marble staircase. Chaps the door, eh? the manager. Chaps the door, opens the door. Who's in? Walter Smith, obviously. Gaz is like that. Gaffer. Gaffer, there's that player you wanted me to sign. Panda walks in. <laughs> I can only imagine he's high as 10 kites. <laughs> he's in the room with Gascoigne, Walter Smith. Walter Smith was fantastic. Jim, in you come, sit down. Gaza says, right Jim, I'll be back if you will. Wait for a shower. He do like understand, he's straight off the bus. He still had the cut the kit on and everything. Took Panda, right up to Walter Smith's office. So Panda's blaring with Walter Smith. Archie Knox comes in and I blare away with him. 20 minutes later, Gaza comes back in. Right Jim, I'm going to show you around Ibrox. Jim, Jim's like, <laughs> Jim's like a dog with ten tails, and he's high as five kites. <laughs> so there you go, Gaza takes him around the Ibrox, 
a year in there in the trophy room, everywhere you can expect to get taken. Comes <coughs> comes back out. Jim comes back out to buy Bobby's motor because Bobby had fallen the back. <laughs> Bobby had fallen the bus back. Panda comes out, he's got a signed boy, he's got a signed football strip. <laughs> he's laying down all sorts of things. He's even got Paul Gascoigne's phone number, would you believe? <laughs> Of course, Gaz was a bit hyper himself, right enough. I can imagine him and Panda in a night. <laughs> anyway, you can imagine, there's, there's the story. Gaza, Panda. <laughs> Shows you what sort of guy Gascoigne actually could be. Really nice guy. It's fantastic with Panda anyway. If you ever speak to Panda, he'll tell you that story. That's totally true. And Marco Negri wasn't even his birthday. <laughs> You couldn't make that stuff up. So there you go. Paul Gascoigne. Found that found that flag a couple of years ago. Just kept it to tell that story. There you go. Gaza, all the best to you, son. Panda, all the best to you.